it was having these uh, gentlemen alongside of me that to me they were what made Morrisett Hospital, what made Ward 21. We had a soccer field, we had a, a workshop, we had tennis courts, we had the market garden, you know, that was used to grow vegetables and things that were then used to supplement the clients or patients, food stuff. Well, there's a saying that's crept into our society, it's in all films and every bloody thing now, uh, I'm watching your back. Now that wasn't around when I was a kid, but that's what you knew. There was somebody watching your back. You had to uh, have your wits about you at all times. We had some rough characters there. There was a charge nurse stabbed to death. Mm. See, so this patient used to, is in 21. He was the boss of 21. And he used to hand him out this uh, pair of... Uh, oh, Secretary. Secretary. Something similar to that. And uh, every, he'd been doing it for a long time. And then this day, he must have... Uh, had bad voices or something, he took the things and stabbed him straight through there. So, you know, there was a, a, a real danger. He was the person who yep. made an island of himself. Yes. Started taking words of patients, started to starve. As always, they think they can do it cheaper, so they decided that they'd build the Kestrel unit, which would have all cameras and everything else, and they would have less staff, they would need less staff to maintain it. Of course, one of the things they don't realise is that people make these decisions, that a lot of uh, psychiatric patients hear voices coming from cameras and TVs and radios that tell them to do things. And so then they have cameras when they're now in the new unit, they have cameras that are looking at them and so when they walk they can see these cameras following them and so therefore it even sometimes makes it worse and I think there's been more patient or staff assaulted in Kestrel than what we probably ever had in Port 21. Yes. Yeah.